Hi, everyone. I'm Sid Sharice. And I'm David Bosher. And you're listening to Destroy the Hairdresser, where we teach you to salon differently. If you are still using a front desk in your salon, it may be time to future-proof your business with Aura Salonware. Aura allows you and your team to check clients out from any device. That means there's no need for a front desk or front desk overhead. What's even more amazing is that clients can check themselves out using the Aura app from their own device. With Aura Salonware, you can finally let technology streamline your business. Start removing your front desk today by visiting aurasalonware.com slash DTH to receive special discounts and promos. Turn your passion for product into big profits with Genesis Private Label. Now is the time to launch your own line and take pride in the brand you've worked hard to make. Experience the prestige of formulas crafted in the same North American labs as top beauty brands. From vegan cruelty-free options to sustainable packaging, Genesis Private Label provides it all. Act now and enjoy free shipping on your sample kit. Fully refundable when you join within 30 days. Start making real profit by selling your own uniquely branded products. Visit at genesisprivatelabel.com slash DTH and begin your product making journey. So do you yes. ever get sick of recording <laughs> podcasts? No. Nor? Nor? But also, yes. I wish it was like, I, I, <laughs> I wish it would just be more effortless, but like, it's a lot of work. Put, doing a podcast is a lot of work. Yeah, it's really exhausting. But what's more But also fun, but also <laughs> rewarding, but also, you know, like, I wish it could just be like, I'd rather do like a reality show than podcasts. Like, just follow me around. Yes. Get the content. It's there. Trust me. Well... I think what's hard about it for me is trying to keep up with technology. Yes, there's so many options. <laughs> I mean, literally just trying to get on this today to record yeah. properly has been a nightmare. Right. So there's something about like, like podcasting. If I could just sit down and it was just like, you sit down and start talking. Oh my God. That would be. Well, if ideal. we had buku's amounts of money, we could make, sh we could make. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, yes, we have we're going to talk for like four hours straight and you're just going to cut it up and make it a thing. Exactly. I mean, we have lived that life, but we're mm -hmm. back to running things ourselves again. But sorry, I had a kid. I think <laughs> that like one of the biggest things for me when it comes to like the podcast is like keeping up with technology. Where are we supposed to put it? Where are people listening? Are they listening on our app? Are they listening on Spotify? And like, there's just so much out there. And I know that for like our followers and our fans and our students, I know everyone as a salon owner or a hairdresser is feeling the same way of like, I cannot keep up with technology changes, which we're going to talk about some of the things we have to help with that. But what is your experience like as a hairdresser living in the modern world being like, okay, I have to learn how to do everything now on a computer, on my phone, uploading, downloading, splitting, editing, like mm -hmm. what's your, what are your thoughts on all that? I, you know, honestly, I think it would be um, scarier for like graphic design artists or, you know, people that manage and build full out social media content. Like for me, those people now have become more of like a luxury in the sense of, I hate that word, but um, more of more for convenience, like you do it, right? But yeah. not necessarily because I can't do it because now we're all learning how to use Canva, the actual Instagram and TikTok in app, we all know how to edit, right? So I mean, a majority of us know how to edit. I would say from a hairdresser's perspective, when it comes to clients, one thing that bothers me and that I coach to as well is like simplicity. Like even as a coach, if we don't have a direct line to get them exactly what they want, pricing, booking, done, they're gone, right? Like, and that's the same thing with clients, like not having prices on your website or not having this, or even having to go to a website or having to search for it on your social, it's too much. Like to have clients that are loyal that you have, like go one place, one track, that's the game changer right there. Because so many people are losing clients because they make it too complicated or there's too many avenues to get to the one place. Well, even like trying to sell yourself as a 
hairdresser or, or really anything on social media. Any business. You are competing with every, everyone. You're not just competing with your industry. You're competing with everyone. And one of the things that you and I have been working on for a while now is um, working with our partners at Salon Differently and creating mm-hmm. actual apps for salon owners and hairdressers that are not only affordable, but effective in growing your clientele, keeping your clientele and selling directly to them, as opposed to posting things on Instagram and leaving yourself out there with the rest of the world. And I think apps are scary to people, but I I don't know if you remember this, but like, I remember as a kid, I would build little websites. Did you ever build websites as a kid? Is that just no, me? No, I played oh with God. GI Joes and Legos and like rode a bike. Like I love. Okay, so there was something <laughs> called Geo Cities, and there was something else called Homestead. dot com. I have no idea. Okay, I hope your I w- follower fan base finds you. I was sit- so I would sit at my dad's office. My dad owned a construction company, and I would sit on the computer and I would build little tiny websites. I had a whole website dedicated to will and grace quotes <laughs> that was i wish I this still before had you it. came out um because if that maybe. wasn't a sign i mean maybe i don't even remember but i <laughs> built this website and all i would do no joke remember it looked like live journal kind of it was like i love i did have a live journal on the tumblr yeah, so like i made the background black and the text mm-hmm. was like bright green you learned and- how to code I learned how to like do little HTML yeah. things, but um, but I remember I would just all I would do is I would post quotes from Will and Grace, and then I would organize them into like categories of which the characters said them. It's brilliant. So, like, and that's all I would do, and then I would set up websites, and then my favorite thing was they used to have these website um, trackers, and you could see how many people visited your website like a and live like, tracker or behind the scenes no like a live tracker and it was before like it was before the kind of traffic we have now so it was like if you got 10 people to look at it i mean you were yeah you're killing it yeah right so i had these little websites Famous. that i created and i had one where you know it one where it was just like about dogs and that's kind of like where all of my ideas for you know, for thinking about like how we market DTH today, I just think about how like websites, like if you really wanted a good one, you had to pay a lot of money. And I yeah. think we're we're moving into a realm where websites are now inexpensive and everyone should and can have one. Um, but now we are looking at what DTH we're trying to do is keep looking into the future and the next thing is going to be apps. And so I'm just excited that we get to finally bring apps which is something that really overwhelms people much like websites did but we're bringing apps to our industry um, that are affordable and if you're listening you want to know more you can visit salondifferently.com and you can see the custom apps there and it's only $2,500 a year which is less than which is so so affordable compared to like even building out a website Oh my like, gosh, yes. Or a brand. Like everyone that I know that does branding or builds websites or anything, it's like triple that. So like yep. to have your own branded accessible app for your team, for your clients, it's huge. I want to tell you, like, first off, I'm obsessed. Like if something has an app, I'm in it, especially when it comes to education. Like I have a few different coaches outside of my main coach um, that have programs and they have built out their own apps. I love them. I use them daily. Like if it has an app and it's something that I'm using constantly, even like when I think about like, um, like workout apps, right? Like Apple Fitness has one, like Beachbody, I forgot they rebranded to something else. Like I think Body Plus or something like that, but they have an app, right? Like even things, Peloton, things like that are so accessible to be able to connect dth plus has an app right and so the thing too that's so valuable is that it is direct access like you like david just said you can put out a push notification that goes directly to your client well i want i want to say like why it's such a game changer because people are like oh yeah a push notification who cares not all of your clients have social media not all of your clients 
are going to fall into the category of the algorithm to see your post unless they're actively going to search. Not everyone checks their email. A lot of times salon emails come up and they just ignore them because a lot of times salon emails are for what? Selling. So they're going to ignore them. And if it's not something that's going to grab them, they're going to they're going to fully ignore it or it's going to be too late. They didn't check their email in time. They didn't see the post in time. I can't tell you how many times we have promoted something and someone's like, I didn't even know you were teaching this class. How cool. And you want to like grab them by their shirt, but you don't because, you know, you have a coach and they help you work on your reactivity. <laughs> also, assault is illegal. <laughs> but but yes. the every single one of your clients has a phone. Every single one of them. It would be so rare that they do not. If someone is able to afford getting their hair done with you, they have a cell phone. And if they have a cell phone, every phone is smart. You can have access to an app. And the fact that they can have your app right there, book with you, talk to you, connect with you, cancel, pay, even get the push notifications for specific app discounts. What are we doing with our lives here? I know. I When we first thought about this idea, you know, we were we had wanted to find a place where we could work with someone to do this. And finally we found um, a developer that we love working with and over at Salon Differently. And the cool thing is that you don't have to manage it. You, it's, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for someone to manage the app. You're paying for someone to help you um, kind of set it and forget it. And a lot of people are looking for set it and forget it. A website nowadays is usually set it and forget it. And an app is also set it, forget it. Now your Instagram becomes a marketing engine to get people to download your app. So you're getting them off Instagram and into a real space where you can communicate with them. You have them. In a way that you're not competing with anyone anymore. And again, if you're listening to this and you're like, what's that website? It's salondifferently.com. I wish Mm -hmm. I had a jingle. (laughs) S-A-L-O-N- D I I don't know. It's salon differently.com. <laughs> and uh, you just, all you have to do is book a call with the developer. You'll talk to them right away. They'll get you set up. And the, according to salon differently, they can get you in the Google play and the Apple app store within 30 days, which as Sid and I have recently built an app out for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, I would have rather done this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can build out an app for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, I don't recommend it. It's the worst experience <laughs> I've ever had Been in there, my entire did life. That. But we love um, the app. <laughs> yes, we love the app. If you haven't downloaded our Worth app, it. you can yeah. find it. Destroy the hairdresser in the App Store or Google Play. You have to type out destroy the hairdresser. You cannot type in DTH. Um, but this is all about getting hairdressers and salon owners and really anyone in the beauty industry. This isn't just for the hair world. It's really anyone in the beauty industry. It's like, I want to get my clients off of social media and into a platform where I am speaking directly to them without any inter- interference. And I think that's the cool benefit of all of this is that you finally can, it's almost like tech, what text feels like, but still with a barrier of professionalism. Yes. And and it keeps you in a position of like, I have my own app. Um, I'm on the app store. Forget about your business card. Download my app. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Forget about the business card. I I want to kind of just for our listeners um, talk about like where all of these things live. Like for me, finding a website naturally, organically without it going through social media has always been like they're searching in their area, which is great, right? Like SEO is great. They're searching in their area. They might have typed in some keywords that prompted your website to show up. It is a great way to get new clients, but it's not always building a client that is like fully focused on you, where they're coming to support you. They're connected to you. There's that rapport. They have been influenced by you. That's where social media is so impactful because you have that influence. You can build that one-on-one connection and get people to come into you that are new. Once they are your clients or even potential new clients, like I said, getting them on the app is like, now we can cut out all the noise. You don't have to go to the website. It's literally a button to book. You pick your stylist, you go, you do, it mirrors your website. So all your branding is there. Like, like I said, all of your information is there. It's all curated. It's all 
right there for you as a client. Yep. Like the user, the client hairdresser experience has become simpler. And that's the beautiful part. And then there's all these like upgrades too, where you can upgrade to have like text messaging in it or upgrade to, you know, all of these things. So you can like keep going and advancing this app to make it like a full on fucking experience for your clients. It's awesome. And my last, the last point I want to make about the benefit of having an app, and I've said this a million times, when you go to sell your salon, mm -hmm. if you don't own the building, your, your salon is not really worth that much money. It's yeah, only worth what someone will pay for it, right? And even then, a lot of time, because of social media, people can build their own business really quickly or they already have it. They don't need yours. And they know that, you know, let's be real. If I'm, if I'm trying to close my business down and sell it, that person can also just wait for me to not sell it and then take for over. For my you lease know, to yeah, be up. Know? Yeah. So number one, own the building because that's a, that's a huge uh, <laughs> payout in the end. But if that's not possible, owning an app is sellable. Yep. An app is sellable. It's way more sellable than the actual salon itself because the app is what has cut out all the noise. An Instagram following is sellable, but the app is even more sellable. It's direct contact with all of these people. It's not a mailing list. It's not a, you know, an, it's not, you know, I, I hate when someone's like, I'll sell you my mailing list. It's like, who the hell knows what's on that thing? But on an app where you can send push notifications and you can have pop-ups and you can have chats and you can have all these things, it, that is such a sellable thing that when you do go to sell your business, that the app itself may even be worth more than the salon itself. And I think that is something people really need to kind of think about because it's, it's forget about whether you think it's worth it right now. Like in the future, when it's been used, I think it's, it's a powerful tool to be able to, to sell and make money. So if you haven't checked it out, go to salondifferently.com, get on the list. If you're listening to this after May 1st, you don't need to get on the list. You can just book your call right away. Um, and I am thrilled. I hope you tag us. I hope you show us your apps. I hope you send them to us. I'm super excited to see what you all do with them. And now a word from our sponsors. We at Destroy the Hairdresser in a groundbreaking collaboration with health industry veterans are bringing our listeners health plans that cover every professional in the beauty industry. This includes individuals, teams, and families. We are currently in the process of insuring thousands of beauty professionals in all 50 states. Healthcare benefits are now open. And guess what? There's no enrollment deadline. Sign up during any month of the year and gain health benefits quickly. Get your name on the list by visiting destroythehairdresser.com slash hairdresserhealthcare. 